Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I wanted to do a quick video on a simple way to uh, save a damaged transformer. Now, this is an American Flyer 75 watt transformer. I found this at a thrift store for $2. And uh, the entire top wiper assembly for the speed control was gone. And uh, the output was still good. So there was nothing wrong with the transformer. There was just no way to vary the power. So what I did was I just took a light dimmer, wired it into the power cord, and it's up and running. So uh, a really simple way to repair a transformer on a budget. <coughs> Excuse me. So $6 for the uh, light dimmer and $2 for the transformer. We got a 75 watt transformer that works and works rather well. And you have full control of the output because you're controlling the input. And so this works. It works really well and it's really simple to do this. So a real easy way to repair a damaged transformer that otherwise you couldn't use on the layout at all other than to power accessories because there's no way to vary the... Uh, uh, voltage. This works. It's really cheap. Uh, this dimmer is rated at 1600 watts uh, incandescent or halogen. So uh, it won't even get warm running this 75 watt transformer. And this is not just a rheostat. It's actually an electronic circuit in there. And uh, it works really well. It's a really simple, easy way to repair a damaged transformer. So just wire a dimmer into the cord and uh, you can vary the input going to the transformer, which of course varies the output coming out of it. So a really simple way to get this transformer up and running for just a few dollars. So I just wanted to do a quick video on it. It's clunky, yes, but it works. And I'm sure there's much nicer ways to do this. I just wanted to get a transformer up and running, so I did a quick experiment, and this worked. It worked really well. So. Uh, the transformer is working 75 watt uh, American Flyer for two bucks at a thrift store. Hard to beat that. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.